Hola a todos. Como están? Hello everyone. How are you today? Let's buy a domain on the Microsoft Azure Domain App Services. Yes, you heard me right. You can buy a domain through Azure. You are not aware? Well, I'm about to show you how you can buy a domain name through Azure. What are the benefits of using or uh, buying domain through Azure Domain App Service? One, one of the reasons I love it, I love the service, is every domain that is available in uh, the Microsoft Azure App Service uh, platform is the same price. Yes, you heard me right, the same price. Whether you want to purchase a .com, .net, .org, they are all the same price, $11.99. I think that's a huge benefit of using the Microsoft Azure Domain Services when you want to purchase any domain. Well, another reason I personally use it is because, okay, I work with Azure, right? And I want to have everything I do in the same you know, platform so that it is easy to manage. And another thing is I can put all my resources into one resource group. So I can group all my resources, my app services, my domain app services, or whatever resources I'm working on on a particular project into a group of resources, which makes it easy to manage. Apart from that, well, it's agile, trusted, and reliable. So let's get started. So one thing you need is show a Microsoft Azure account. And secondly, like I said, the domain costs eleven point ninety nine dollars, so you can't use a free Azure account to you know perform this operation. So with that being said, all you have to do is to upgrade your account, you know, buy a subscription, put some credits right there, and let's rock and roll. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to the portal, which is portal.azure.com. And I'm going to sign in. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, sign in with my account. Okay, so this is a uh, coming up okay, so once this your dashboard is ready go ahead to the search bar and type app service domains okay go ahead and click on the create because we are about to buy we are about to buy or purchase a new domain. Uh, choose a subscription. I will leave it with uh, the Visual Studio Enterprise subscription right here. Go ahead and create a new uh, resource group. I will call this uh, Chime Fula. I will click OK. So I will go ahead and type the name of the domain that I want to register. So I'll uh, look at the description that says enter your domain name and select it from the list. If you don't see the domain you enter, it's not available. So all domains shown here are available for like eleven point ninety nine US says USD. Okay. So uh some extensions are now available. Uh, for example, dot tech is not available here, which I'm sure. Uh, but what we want to register is uh, chimefula.org. Chimefula.org. I'll just go ahead and paste this right here. Dot org, so I don't make any mistake with the domain name. So this domain is available. So I'll go ahead and click on uh, next, which is contact information. So another benefit is Azure gives you free SSL certificates you know, to protect your website. So you can uh, 
redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Then uh, secondly is uh, Azure also protects your information as well from the public for free. So these are some of the benefits why you should choose the app service domain in Azure. So my details are already here, so I'll just go ahead and click on next. Uh, enable auto renewal. I will disable this. I don't want to enable auto renewal, but you can always make these changes later on. But for now, I don't want to enable that. So, but when it is enabled, so, so I'm buying this domain today, being the uh, second of August two thousand and twenty-one. So by uh, second of the August two thousand and twenty-two, the domain will be renewed from your credit. Okay, so it's one year validity. Uh, privacy protection, yes, I want to enable that. Don't show my information to uh, the whose database. So keep it private. Uh, go ahead and click on uh, next, which is tags. So you can uh, put tags name. You can use to reference your your services. But I'll just go ahead and click on review and create. This will run some validation. Uh huh. Form validation failed in contact information tab. Okay, so I think we missed some information that we are supposed to enter. So right here, I'll go back to contact information and I will see the particular information. Oh, so street name is a uh, compulsory. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And uh, my country, state of origin, state of territory is also necessary. So I'll just go ahead and put Lagos. Okay, sorry, that should be Abia. Okay, city and the postal code. Okay, so all these things are necessary. Uh, if you don't enter these details, violation error, like you see right there. So I'll go back and click on next to advance. Uh, okay, so disabled and enabled privacy protection. Go ahead and review and create. So this will run a validation one more time. And if everything is fine, the next button will be clickable. So it's still running the validation on that. Oh. And uh, we can go ahead and click on create. Validation is uh, over. Summary of what we want to buy an app service domain by Microsoft. Uh, the price of the domain per year. Uh, you can read the legal uh, things right here. Uh, the customer service agreement, the ICANN right responsibility policy, domain registration agreement, and domain by proxy agreement. So make sure you read all these things to understand your legal things while producing this domain. And I'll uh, just these are the basic information on the domain, the subscription, uh, the resource group it belongs to, the resource group location, with US, uh, the domain name, the Azure DNS zone, uh, the Azure service domain delete lock. So at default, uh, Azure has a policy whenever you create a domain to enable delete lock on domain services. So you can delete it just like that. So if you want to delete it in future, you have to uh, delete the the policy that locks it. Okay, and there are my details. And I can go ahead and click on create. Okay, so submitting deployment. Deployment in progress. So this will take some time for you to create and uh, be ready to use. So let's give it some time. Mm -hmm. We have a network strike DNA zones created. Uh, domain registration accepted, so it's trying to register the domain right now. I can view my information by clicking operation details, which will open my information about that domain right here. So I'll just go ahead and close that. OK. 
Okay, so this will take some time. Just relax. If you have a coffee, grab some and uh, just wait for it. Yes, this will take pretty some time, like some minutes. So while we wait for that to you know deploy, uh, this is just the part one of creating a domain on Microsoft Azure. Uh, the part two of this tutorial, I will show you how to map this domain we have created to an existing uh, app service here in Azure. Okay. I think we are done. So deployment succeeded and we can go to the results. So right here we have our domain uh, uh It is not mapped to any it is not mapped to any service, so you don't expect anything to show up right here until we map that. But the domain has been registered, and you can see it right here. Okay, so for now, that's it. That's how to register a new domain on Microsoft Azure. Uh, in the next video, uh, I'll go over and we'll see how to map this domain to uh, an existing app service and uh, We'll talk more about other things like uh, security and uh, managing DNS records. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this on Azure and AWS. Uh, gracias. See you next time.